Thank you. Thank you for having me. What is what is the process for you been like? Uh, what was that? I think like fifty four snaps the other day. If that's right. Yeah. Like going from maybe you know five seven snaps a game mm -hmm. to this workload. What what, what, are, what are the challenges there, and how have you tried to adapt to that? Yeah. Uh, first and foremost, it's truly been a blessing just to have the opportunity to get those snaps. Um, it's pretty much all I've ever wanted. Um, of course, it's. It's been a struggle for me, just my co collegiate career, um, coming from Ohio State, um, tearing my Achilles there, um, having a season and an injury starting off my career. Then, you know, finally uh, coming back home, transferring to North Carolina, and uh, coming into a new situation and having to learn, you know, a new culture, a new staff, a new scheme, um, and really just, you know, trying to find a way. And I feel like I'm always a firm believer that good things come to those who wait, and I've stayed patient. I've prepared the right way um, each and every day, and I, I feel like now I'm kind of reaping the benefits of that. So it's, it's definitely been a great opportunity just to have um, to showcase my talents and, and let my light shine. Jacoby, with uh, Georgia Tech coming in here, uh, the two times that you've seen them since you've been here, it's been mm -hmm. a tough loss here and a tough loss there. Yep. You know, do you feel like you kind of owe them one for, for, those, for those two? Yeah, most definitely. Um, you know, we never want to lose games, but. Um, since I've been here, like you said, we've lost to them um, once here and then once there, which I was, I wouldn't, I didn't get a chance to travel to one last year because I was uh, ended up finishing the season with an injury. Um, so definitely looking forward to playing that team. They're a talented ball team. Um, we know they're going to come in here with a fight. So definitely going to have to, you know, hone in and bring it all together in order to, to get a victory in the end. When did the conversations, uh, I know that, let me backtrack, Coach Collins said you got a little bit of work at the, Rush position mm -hmm. in uh, August. Yep. But what did the conversations intensify where they said, you're going to go play, you're going to get a ton of reps during practice this week, you're going to be that guy during the game now? I'd probably say right when uh, came and kind of had got hurt, we got the news that he had got hurt. Um, and we knew we had guys at that position, like Tyler and Jay Brown, but they just had, didn't have the experience um, that I had had playing in games before. Um, so he kind of came up to me and, and him and Coach, uh, Coach Ted. Well, yeah, Coach Ted, Coach Monacino, and Coach Collins came up to me um, and just kind of made sure I was okay with it first before, you know, having me learn the entire new position. But I told him I was ready for it. Um, really, all I wanted was opportunity. So wherever that would be where I could get more of an opportunity to play ball, um, I was willing to do it. So kind of, I'd probably say it started, um, I want to say probably maybe I was a central week maybe. So, yeah, and then on from there, it's just been it's been the rush position. It was challenging aspect of playing that position. You've been in some pass coverage that yeah. you wouldn't, hadn't been in before? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, the good thing about that is coming from a place like Ohio State, um, I learned you know, about dropping back in coverage as a defensive end um, there. So I was able to kind of you know, use the, the previous experience from there and kind of bring it into you know, what I'm doing now, which is pretty similar. Um, but it's, it's definitely been quite a challenge just trying to learn everything on the fly. Um, but, you know, like I said, I, I trust in my ability and, and all the guys have helped me as well, like came in um, during the time that he was out. Um, he helped me learn things. We sat down, watched extra film, did what we had to do in order for to make sure that I was fully prepared. So it's, it's been a great thing. Was there something personally rewarding for you given the path that you've taken to get to this point mm -hmm. where you're a major part of the last few games because you've been out there logging a lot of snaps when I know Adam asked you about the snaps, but mm -hmm. something personally rewarding where, you know what, now I have a taste of what this is like. Yeah, no doubt. Like I said, um, all I've ever wanted is opportunity. And, and, you know, when you finally get something that you know you've worked hard for, you know you put the time and energy for, it, it's definitely a rewarding feeling um, just knowing that, you know, the time is finally here and what you're going to do with it. Um, we always talk about, you know, having opportunities, but maximizing those opportunities. So I feel like it, it's been a great thing, and just I'm looking forward to, you know, allowing myself to showcase even more as I play more. So, Colby, to go off of that, you know, you mentioned the opportunity, you know, being able to take advantage of it, things like that. I guess thinking back to when you ended up deciding to, you know, transfer to North Carolina, mm -hmm. what about here made this a place where, you know, you wanted to get that, you know, opportunity and kind of extend your career? Yeah, um, for me, growing up, I um, was always a, a Tar Heel born and bred, um, whether that be basketball or football. Um, never really had any, any big Duke fans in my family, big Carolina family. So um, 
I kind of knew that, you know, coming back home, I had a great relationship with Coach Brown and the staff before, um, all throughout recruiting and before I even made the decision to commit to Ohio State. But coming back, I knew I wanted to go somewhere where I knew I'd be well taken care of, and I felt like Carolina would be the place. And not only is it convenient, close to home, two hours from home in Charlotte. So um, really was a no-brainer for me. I just wanted to come somewhere where I knew I'd be well taken care of, and, and Carolina felt like home for me. And then to go off of that, obviously, you know, you've been in college football in general for, you know, a while now. Mm -hmm. How do you see the game differently now than maybe when you started off at Ohio State? Like, just over the course of the years, like, in what ways do you feel that you see the game differently? Yeah. Uh, the game is definitely evolving. It's constantly evolving. Um, I feel like on all levels. But um, in terms of the college football um, atmosphere, I'd probably say just the NIL, the world of NIL is completely different. Um, Really just scheme-wise, the things that people do, um, you're starting to see a lot of different things offensively, defensively, um, and philosophies have changed. So it's, it's, like I said, the game is constantly evolving, but it's definitely been a lot um, that has come in about as my years um, have gone in college. You were a highly recruited dude yep. uh, coming out of high school. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure. You probably thought, hey, go to Ohio State, go to the NFL, yep. probably, right? Yep. Like, in terms of highs and lows, for you the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. What have the lows looked like? I'm sure there's been some, a lot of disappointment yeah. there to try to process. No, definitely. Um, like I said, when I started off my career, uh, going into, because it was COVID year when I kind of went into college. So uh, we had went home uh, for COVID and we're off. And then we came back and I want to say the second workout, maybe, uh, that's when I tore my Achilles um, back in June before the season. So. Of course, that was a, a, a huge, you know, just uh, detriment to me just because I know I had worked hard. Um, I felt like I was going to get an opportunity as a freshman to play a, a good amount of snaps. And, you know, when you have an injury like that, which I had suffered injuries before in the past, but never anything of that magnitude. So definitely took some time to adjust. But, you know, I made a full recovery from that. And then from then on out, um, I'll probably say another thing that took place was when I lost my, uh, my dean, uh, of my fraternity, um, who was like a best friend of me in a tragic car accident um, last summer. And this was in July, so this was right before the season, um, going into fall camp. Had a lot on my mind, uh, never had lost anybody that close to me. Um, so it was tough and, you know, I had to lean on my support system just to pick me up. And then going into the season, uh, we get to fall camp and that's when I have a, another injury. Um, which I battled through it, but in, eventually had to end up shutting it down last season because of that. So um, I'd probably say last year by far was probably the hardest year of my life, um, dealing with death, dealing with an injury. Um, when you thought that, you know, this was finally going to be the year. Um, so definitely it's been a lot, but like I said, I, I kept my faith. Um, I stayed strong, remained strong, and, and now we're here. So I'm just, you know, thankful for the opportunity, and, and it's been great. What's the fraternity? Uh, Kappa Alpha Star Fraternity Incorporated. Gotcha. Yeah. Are your folks coming in? Just one. Huh. Yeah, it could be another 20 minutes with him. You said, yeah, they do. Yeah. They were on my flight coming back from Minnesota. Really? <laughs> and, and your mom was wearing a jersey. Uh huh. And, uh, it, when you remember <clears throat> talking, it made me think about I asked you how rewarding it was for you, but yep. they've been through this too. And oh, yeah. all these games. And I think that night you may have played about eight or ten plays or something. Yep. How rewarding is it for them seeing you when they go to a game and they're going to see you on the field a lot mm -hmm. instead of? special teams player, oh, yeah. snaps here and there. Yeah, it's been definitely rewarding for them. Um, I say regardless of the circumstance, situation, they've always been my biggest fan, my number one supporters. Um, even when I was at Ohio State, not just my parents, but my grandparents traveled every game too. So just having that support system, knowing that, you know, you're going to have people that have your back regardless of, of whatever the, the circumstance is, then it's, it's just knowing that, that, that drives me to keep going and, and to keep on pushing. So um, for them, it's definitely been rewarding. Um, finding out that I will be starting against uh, our rival school, Duke, um, that was, you know, a phenomenal thing to find out for them. Just, you know, knowing what I've been through, knowing all the, the challenges I've faced and how I've been able to persevere through those things. So it's definitely been a reward, rewarding feeling for all of us. And I saw last week when Carolina put out the tweet that the captains were mm -hmm. retweeting that. They're, they're oh, yeah. There for you. Yep. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I've always seen myself as a leader, um, and I take pride in, in being a leader, um, not just vocally, but through actions as well. Um, so having an opportunity, um, being selected by, by the staff um, as a captain for the week was definitely a, a true blessing in itself. It just shows the, the work that I put in and how I carry myself.
With the injury history that you mentioned, mm -hmm. Kanan goes down with an injury, an, an off-field injury, sort yep. of like what you said in your workout. Were you able to sort of pick him up, just say, hey, you know, you're going to get through this? Like, oh, yeah. Did, did your history help you? And sort of yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Um, I feel like not just came in itself, anybody that has experienced a, a career in the injury, season in the injury, anything of those sorts, um, I've been able to kind of pick those guys up, but specifically came in. Um, I knew, you know, being this is that this is last year it would be tough on him, but we all kind of, everybody in the deep position room, deep line, defensive line room kind of lifted him up um, and told him, you know, we're going to get through this together, um, regardless of just to keep his head up, keep his faith, and that's what he's done. So, and I feel like he's, he's truly made himself back now. So. Yeah, looking forward to seeing him more. Jacoby, from your perspective, what do you feel, if anything, the defense like, needs to get back to doing? Mm -hmm. uh, I guess when you compare it to you know, the first three games, as far as you know, the sack stop, as well, things like that, do you feel there's something the defense needs to like, kind of get back to doing uh, you know, this weekend? Yeah, I think going back and looking at the film from the, the, the losses that we've had recently, um, I think the biggest thing, it all comes down to maybe four or five plays in each game that kind of determine the game. Um, we've played good ball. We've, we've definitely displayed a, a, a much better defense than in the past, but I feel like it just goes down to, you know, eliminating the little things, um, little errors that may be, um, and just, you know, sticking together when things get tough, um, when things aren't going our way, you know. Uh, making sure everybody's on the same page, making sure we, we do the little things right um, so that we can end up on the other side of the victory. Um, when we were talking to Jeff Collins the other day, he was saying, you know, something similar you said of, you know, feeling like you, know, you guys play good football and then there's, you know, certain plays mm -hmm. like, you know, meet the yardage here and there, things like that. I guess what are those uh, film sessions like of, you know, kind of identifying, you know, those specific areas and just like, you know, understanding what needs to, you know, get corrected in those moments? Yeah, I think you kind of have to take everything with a grain of salt. Um, you can't really take things personal because, you know, we're big on accountability, um, especially Coach Collins. Like, he'll let you know when, you, when you've done something right, and he'll also let you know when you've done something wrong. And I feel like um, being that it's been that way, it's kind of helped all of us kind of grow as players and as men because, you know, in life you can get told the good things, but somebody might not always tell you what's, what's best for you. And I think everybody takes that with a grain of salt and kind of learns from it. So we're all on the same page. We're all uh, being positive each and every day and just trying to stick together so that we can, you know, find a way to come out on the other side. So, And I, I do have confidence that we will because, um, like I said, we've displayed – Great defense at times. We just got to all uh, collectively put it together. I got time. I know Jeff. Jeff made a point with us. He said he made a point with you guys as mm -hmm. a group that this week isn't about him, even though it's Georgia Tech. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, but how, how much would you like to get this one for him? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, coming from since he came from that place, um, I know it was a. a place for him that he kind of valued um, at a time. So definitely would be great to, to get this win for him, um, knowing, you know, just the background and history there. Um, and I think we're all, you know, excited. Uh, started off the great work week today in practice. So looking forward to continuing to build on it. And, you know, hopefully, like I said, we can put everything together this week and we'll finally come out with a, a dub after a losing streak. All right.